Welcome to this episode of Aerial ABCs, where we look at foundational skills with good form and alignment. My name is Sarah Holmes of Paper Doll Militia, and in this episode, we're going to look at the figure eight footlock. You can use your hands to get into this footlock from the floor. From standing, lift one knee as high as you can. Wrap your foot around the silks from outside in, and flex your foot to keep the fabric from dropping off. Pull the slack from the inside of your knee, wrap it over the top and then under your foot. To come out, straighten your leg, flex, and then point. You can practice with silks together or silks apart. And of course, try the other side. Okay, let's talk about feet. Sometimes people talk about how their foot feels cramped up or um, it hurts their knee when they do a foot lock. And a lot of that has to do with the alignment of the silks on your foot. So for the purpose of this, I'm gonna take off my sock and we're gonna talk about feet. So on the outside of your foot, if you run your finger, oh, we get some deeper, there we go. When you take your finger and you run it down the side of your foot, there's a bone about halfway. If you try to get the silks to land above that bone, closer to your ankle, it's gonna feel a lot better than if it's closer to your foot, just for the fact that your bones will start to squish. They're less stable here, so watch. If I squeeze here, I get funny foot. That's what happens, that's what we see in aerial. Funny foot, we don't want that. It's uncomfortable, it doesn't look as nice either. So really try to land it as high as possible past that bone. Okay, so let's look at that feet position on the silks. You really want to wrap it as high as possible, close to your ankle. Make sure your heel is still sticking out. You can even have a toe point and stand up on that. It's totally safe. You'll see here, I'm wrapping it closer to my toes and it's a bit awkward. My toes are splayed out and it's pretty uncomfortable to step into. There goes that funny foot. Another habit I see is people allowing their foot to roll out to the side. So relaxing, it can cause a ton of pressure on your ankle and even your knee. Make sure to push through the arch of your foot, extend through, be active. This is gonna save your joints. Think about standing upright. Keep your foot under you by drawing your heel back and engaging your glutes, i.e. squeeze your butt, and you'll find the stability. You can give yourself a little check by wiggling your fingers. If you're not clutching on, then you are most likely doing it correctly. Let's try wrapping with your feet, not your hands, which is what you'll have to do in the air. You can try it first sitting down. Wrap the silk around your ankle and extend your leg to create your L-sit position. Use your other foot in a turned in position, like a karate kick, to push on the fabric while you create the slack by drawing your bottom foot down. It will slide on the silk. Continue the figure eight pattern with the fabric that we already practiced. From your L-sit position, make sure you can take your top foot off without the other foot slipping to the floor. You will be holding your own leg up. Use your karate kick to push on the silks as you slide your bottom foot down. And continue with the figure eight pattern we practiced before. From this position, an option for coming to standing is to use the L-sit roll technique. For tips and tricks on perfecting your roll up, check out our L-sit roll up aerial ABC. Come out by passing through an L-sit position. You can use a karate kick to push on the fabric while you flex the other one. The stirrup should come off the bottom of your foot. Try getting your foot lock off without using the karate kick foot to help. Kick 
it'll be harder to slide that bottom foot down. Remember, it's a timing thing, both at once. If you're still having trouble sliding your bottom foot down, it's okay to reach your top foot a little higher to start, or have your bottom foot start a little lower than your hip. If you ended up starting with your feet too high, it'll be hard to undulate up to standing. Instead, draw your heel under you and stand up from there. Thanks for watching this episode of Aerial ABCs, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Call, call.